What's up everybody, welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. I want to talk a little bit today. This video, first of all, is not what you think. It's not what you think at all. A lot of people get, you know, sick of hearing me talk about Ian. And I use Ian as a reference very frequently. Because he has become something to reference. It's not about hating him anymore. It's not about hating on him. It's about the reference to what has transpired and what continues to go on now with Lane Norton taking shots at Dorian Yates and etc. and stuff like that, which happened on Facebook, which is open for any of you guys to see if the thread is still up there. But I'm getting emails asking me how I feel about Ian's video taking a break, how he is quitting, not quitting YouTube, but he's not going to be around right now doing what he was doing. And I tell you, um, I didn't watch the whole thing because it was kind of a long video, but you know, I kind of skipped through it, so I didn't really see the whole thing. I get the gist of it. And basically he's decided that it's not for him, this is not his crowd, after he went to the Arnold. Now, I was at the Arnold, and I'll tell you what I saw. At the Arnold, I saw a lot of edgy, new-blooded, and old, you know, veterans wearing the Flagner Fail shirts, the Iron Asylum, the Animal, the hardcore, you know, lifestyle that is bodybuilding, figure fitness. I mean, it's a hardcore thing, the Arnold. Let's face facts. It's not a... You know, it's not all about a scientific convention of people walking around in lab coats. You're up there with people that move weight and they've done it for a long time. And they're a bunch of beasts walking around in beautiful, scantily clad girls. I mean, it's a, it's a festival. It's awesome. So, yeah, I can see how he walking around would fee, definitely feel that he was out of place and it wasn't his crowd of people. So I don't know if he'd ever experienced that before or if he'd never really been to a hardcore gym. Or I don't know where he works out. But, I mean, those are the type of people that I see in the gym. So, you know, that's... It's not a shock to me that he felt out of place and was a little freaked out by the people that were at the Arnold. But here's what I think. Ian has definitely has a place in this YouTube community. He definitely has a place with what he does. He does it very well. However, by representing himself as no bullshit bodybuilding and lifting for life with names like that, you are represent, or you're putting yourself out there as you are one of these animal, flag nor fail, you know, iron asylum type of people. One of these hardcore people. Which, it was very apparent from looking at him that he was not. And on top of that, the blatant disrespect for, to the people that his channel was labeled to, no bullshit bodybuilding. And you expect this, you know, big jacked up bodybuilder to walk in and be like, ah, no bullshit bodybuilding. But that's not what you got. So people kind of get pissed when he showed up with it. And started talking about the science, then putting down the other bodybuilders like Dave Pulsanella and myself, calling us bros, and anyone else who had lived that lifestyle, which was the you know the hardcore bodybuilding lifestyle. So that's really where I think a lot of the hate came from. You know, people make fun of they're like, ha ha ha, no bullshit bodybuilding. That's ridiculous. Cause Ian, that's where it came from. I don't think it was ever a knock that he didn't know what he was doing. He didn't know what he was talking about. He didn't know what you know he was putting on his channel. I think that you know my personal opinion is what Ian should do now is not stop, not not make videos anymore, but reinvent himself. Reinvent himself for what he really is. And that is that one of those science guys. You know, instead of no bullshit bodybuilding, how about like scientific bodybuilding 101? I mean, that would be a great name for a channel for him, which is exactly what he's about. And he could do all the research talk and stuff like that. And nobody would get pissed. And nobody would think bad of him. And nobody would pick on him. If that was his channel name, he did what he did, and he didn't go after the bros himself. You know, he would made the mistake of going after us, of picking on the people that outnumbered him by millions. You can't do that. You can't go after a group of people like the people that he went after and not expect some backlash to come back at you. Because these people in general are intense by nature. So they're not going to sit there and take it. They're going to lash out. They're going to fight back. And, you know, if Ian's not that type of person that can take that heat... Because obviously he can't because he cracked. You can't go out there and do it. So Ian, if you watch this, my advice to you is put up some kind of scientific bodybuilding. You know, change the name of the channel. Continue what you're doing. Maybe even go a step further. Make it more like lectures for the people that need that stuff. Get a dry erase board behind you and literally, you know, arrows and all the stuff like you're in a class. Like do a class type thing as opposed to representing yourself like you're some badass hardcore bodybuilder which, you know, you, you never really claim to be, but the, the name puts that out there, and the image that you're trying to portray is not really, you know, what you really are. Just be true to you and who you are, what you do, and don't try to be 
hardcore. Don't try to be no bullshit. Don't try to be lifting for life. You're only 19. You haven't had that much of a life and you haven't been lifting for your whole life. So you're not lifting for life. You know what I mean? Like do what it is you do, but be true to yourself and all this shit will work out and you'll probably be a lot more successful in the long run if you just did the scientific thing on the scientific channel. bios 3 training at gmail.com, wwwbios 3 trainingcom Ian, make the scientific channel. We're out.